So, I'm not going to act like I loved Microsoft's press conference, but I'm not going to act like I hated it. First of all, I'm not even going to fully cast judgment on it because it was just their first briefing thing. Like that, if I'm, if I'm right, that's not even their everything that they're going to show. I could be wrong, though. I don't know. Right now, by the way, we're seeing new Assassin's Creed gameplay. It's in Egypt. But this video is going to focus on the Microsoft press conference. The reason I say I didn't like Microsoft press conference, though, is I feel like the whole reason you have that press conference is to sell people on the Xbox Scorpio, which we now have a name and a price for. It's called the Xbox One X, which I think is a ridiculous, redundant name. But that doesn't matter. And the price of it is forty uh is four ninety nine. Four hundred and ninety nine dollars. Now I thought that was a fair price. I knew it was gonna be more expensive than a three ninety nine PlayStation Pro because it's more powerful. It pro it most likely costs more to make. So I thought that pricing was fair. But the whole point of this press conference, right? You want to sell your Xbox console. Now, that is very hard to do when the question still becomes, why should I get this Xbox One X over a PC? Because, yeah, so here's, here's the thing. Microsoft showed, I think the numbers where they showed 42 games and 22 of them were exclusives. Maybe about four of those games were console exclusive. So what that means is if they show 22 exclusive and four of them are console exclusive, you can get 18 of those games on PC. And my problem was is that the four games that were console exclusives weren't must-haves. So like there weren't things that made me think, oh my goodness, I have to get an Xbox in order to play this. Now they didn't show Halo yet. And I'm sure they're going to show Halo, and I'm sure, like, me personally, if you've seen my channel, you know how I feel about Halo. I want that game to die. I thought it should have been over with Halo Reach, and that Microsoft and Bungie should have just let that game die to graceful death. And it's just been downhill after that. But that's just my opinion. There's still plenty of people who love Halo. So I'm sure as we see the conference more and more, we'll have more and more reasons to buy Xbox One X. But this first briefing, it didn't really do that. Because the best games that they showed, games like that arrow just tracked. I'm sorry. So the best games that they just showed, games like Anthem, games like uh, Cuphead, Assassin's Creed, Life is Strange. All of these games aren't Microsoft exclusive. Like, I thought Cuphead was going to be a uh, Xbox exclusive, but you could get it on Steam. Like, that's it. You, I don't know. Like, it just didn't. Like, yes, Microsoft showed a lot of games. Microsoft has a lot of games for their brand. But they did not have a selling point for the Xbox One X. Like, why would you buy an Xbox One X when you could just make a $500 PC? You could just compile that. And then when you get enough money... You could just upgrade that. There, I don't know. I just didn't think that they succeeded in selling the Xbox One X. But they did do a good job in selling. Like, if I graded that console, what I said on Twitter is I gave that a 7.5 out of 10. I thought it was a good conference. It just didn't do a good job of selling the Xbox One X. I didn't see that conference and was like, oh my goodness, I have to buy this Xbox One X now. They did have some good games, like the Darwin Project, which is a, uh, it seems like that's going to be a, uh, like a, a battle arena type game, an online battle arena type game, that's elimination style, kind of like a player known battleground-esque, like a battlegrounds type game, but like the map is more compiled, there are less peoples, and you have abilities, and also I do like the fact that they made a power move. And they're getting player known battlegrounds on the Xbox. I thought those, like I thought that was really really good. 
but I don't think anyone is going to look... Like, the only people who I feel like would get an Xbox One X right now are diehard Xbox fans. And even when they did show the games on the Xbox One X, yeah, the games did look good, but they weren't stable. Like, they dropped frames a lot. That's pretty much it. Like, they, they dropped frames and, and the game would be skipping and things like that. But, uh, yeah. The best games shown on the Xbox One X weren't even Xbox games. They were just really good games that just happened to be shown on the Xbox One X. So, I don't think it was a failure. I just think that they didn't do a good job of selling their console that they're just coming out with. And I think that that should be their focal point for this E3. So as of yet, they haven't done a good job of that for now. But they could definitely change that in their next conference. Like, personally, I don't think Sony is going to do, can do much better than that. Maybe they will. If they do, I'd be shocked. I don't think Sony will do much better than that. Nintendo, I don't have hope for. Even though Nintendo has some hitters coming out in the summer. Like, the Switch really could control the summer. You have ARMS coming out. You have Splatoon coming out. You have Mario Kart that already came out. That will last people until, like, Super Mario Odyssey and other games come out. Like, Nintendo has a great lineup that'll last until other games come out. And then also you have uh, Breath of the Wild DLC coming out during the holiday season also. Like... Nintendo, I think, will be fine without this E3. I think this E3 was pretty much needed. Like, Microsoft needed to have a good showing here. And, uh... I don't know. Like, this is another, like... I don't even know if this is an Xbox exclusive. Or if you could play it on, uh... Windows 10 or PC or not. But, like, this didn't really even look that... It just wasn't, like, the console-exclusive games for the Xbox One X just didn't look too great. I think that the Xbox One X will have the same problems as the Xbox One. And although it's a super powerful console, I just don't think it'll do too well. It's just not much of a reason to get that console. It's just my opinion. I, but, like, I can't say it enough. Uh, I think Microsoft showed a great amount of games. And that's really all they did was show games. Like, I think they did a good job at everything in this press conference. Except sell their Xbox One X. That's the only thing that they should have and could have done better. But, uh, I would love to hear everybody else's opinions on... On the conference. That's what the comment section is for. Comment your heart out. Even if you're calling me an idiot. Saying I don't know what I'm talking about. Microsoft did a great job of selling their console. They're going to shit on Sony and PlayStation. Whatever you need to say. Say it in the comment section. Make sure you like the video. Dislike the video if you feel the need to. Subscribe to the channel. So you can like and dislike more videos and you can call me an idiot on all my other videos or say how well I did in explaining my points or whatever you want to say. Subscribe so you can do that in the future. I'm going to sign off because I don't really have much else to say on the topic. I, I'm really liking E3 so far. It's better than I expected. There have been some games that I didn't even know I wanted that have been shown that I'm super excited for, like Anthem, like Dragon Ball Fighters. Um, also, comment games that you're the most hyped for so far. I think if I'm if I were to expect any games that people would be hyped for, I would expect it to be Dragon Ball Fighters, maybe uh, the Darwin Project because that seemed like a very interesting game. That people want to try. Maybe State of Decay 2. 
and Dragon Ball Fighters. Those would be the games that I would expect to see in the comment section. But I'm going to sign off and get ready. to. Uh, I'm probably going to take a nap because I've been falling asleep earlier than I wanted to. It's 8 a.m. right now. So I'm probably going to take a nap. Get ready to stream some E3 later. King Dove the 7th signing off.